Yesterday, Israel's Minister for Strategic Affairs, he said that Americans were taken hostage by Hamas. He said that definitively. Can you confirm that? I cannot, unfortunately. We are still trying to get uh, more information about Americans uh, whose whereabouts are unknown. Uh, we have to accept the possibility uh, that at least some uh, of those unaccounted for Americans could be held hostage by Hamas uh, right now. But we just don't have specific information to be able to confirm that. Israel says it's not negotiating uh, to get the hostages that Hamas has. Does the U.S. agree with that position with, the respect, with respect to the potential American hostages? I'll just I'll let Israel speak for itself. Uh, I can tell you that there's no higher priority for President Biden than the safety and security of Americans overseas. We've acted and will continue to act uh, in the interest of making sure that Americans who are held hostage or wrongfully detained overseas get home with their families. Uh, but we don't usually talk publicly about how we go about doing that. And I don't think I, I want to break precedent here today. There are questions, as you well know, about the degree to which Iran was involved, directly involved in the attacks over the weekend. The Wall Street Journal reports that Iranian security officials helped plan Hamas's surprise attack on Israel and gave the green light for the assault at a meeting in Beirut last yeah. Monday. What evidence does the U.S. have of that being true? Right now, none. Uh, we're looking very hard to see if there is corroborating evidence uh, that proves that Iran was you know, a participant in these attacks, but we just haven't seen it. And frankly, our Israeli counterparts, they haven't seen it either. Uh, but look, I mean, make no mistake, there's a degree of complicity here just because Iran's been supporting Hamas now for many, many years. Weapons, tools, capabilities, training. Uh, so uh, clearly, uh, Iran, there, there's a complicity here. But in terms of the specific series of attacks we've seen in the last 24, 36 hours, we just don't have direct evidence.